Here are USD. This week has dropped in value and we can see that the price has gone below 1.07825 where the price then made a retrace back above which has been confirmed as a resistance but then the price has skyrocketed above this uh, resistance and the price has reached the next resistance at 1.08846 after that the price has fallen with this bearish pin bar which has took the price down up to or all the way to the demand zone at 1.07825 and then the price on the Friday has retraced back above where the price has uh, closed at the open price at the same day. On the weekly time frame this looks like a bullish candle that has been formed right here at support at 1.07825 where the price is jumping between the support and resistance levels between 1.07825 and 1.08846 and the price has stopped just in between these two price levels. On the monthly time frame, this looks as a bullish candle, but the month has just started, so this is uh, something that uh, we should not pay pay attention too much on this. But what we can see is the previous two months has closed very close to each other with the bearish candles body. But currently, what we can see, the price has tried to go down, but the price reverses back up. So currently, for this month, everything is still open. So for much more details, we should look back inside the inside the weekly and the daily time frame. But on the monthly time frame, what we can see, the very important levels for the price on the lower side is currently is around this one here, which is 1.07 price level, and also below that slightly is 1.068. So this is the first support level on the monthly time frame that needs to hold in, in order to prevent the price from falling even more down, where the next stop would be around 1.057. On the upper side, what the price needs to break is this one here, is the first one 1.086 and then 1.088. So these are the first resistance levels that the price needs to break in order to go to uh, in order to go above around 1.098, what we can see it here. So at the weekly time frame, we can see 1.0846 is the on the resistance level that needs to be broken, and on the lower side is the first one 1.07825, what we can see here. And if the price goes down below this price level on the weekly time frame, we will see where the price go. But on the lower side, the first stop would be around this area here, 1.072. Where we can see where the price in the past had problems going down and where the price has bounced back up. So for now what we can see is currently that the price needs to go outside of this small indecision between these two price levels in order to verify where the where is the future movement. On the daily time frame we can see how this looks currently on the Thursday and the Friday it was in decision where the price is bouncing between these two price levels and it needs to it needs to, to define where is the future direction. What we can see currently here, when the price was dropped down here, the price reached this area and then reversed back up. So this bearish breakout that has, has happened during this week was not good, even though it was being it has been validated with these two candles. But then the price formed the second bullish uh, breakout that has been validated with the next candle, where the price continued to rise in value. So currently the price is in between these two price levels that needs to uh, broke in, in order to verify where is the future direction. On the smaller scale, and that is here, this is the level where the price needs to make a breakout and currently that is around this area where the price is 1.083. So this is something that uh, needs to be uh, broken in order to verify will the price go up or down. So in order to go up the price needs to go above this one area here starting for with this uh, supply zone 1.085 and on the lower side, if the price would like to go and try to break below 1.07825 is the next level and that is here 1.083. So this is something that we will need to watch daily on the daily time frame in order to verify where the price could go in the future in the next week. So for now, as it looks for me, the price was inside the downtrend before that it was inside the small uptrend so we can see that the price is currently jumping between these two price levels 
so for now as it looks currently the price is in the uh, downtrend and we can see a bearish pin bar that has been formed around this supply zone which means the sellers are waiting here so currently what i am expecting here is i am expecting that the price will try to move down again and then we will see will the price jump or it will try to make a breakout so this is something that we need to watch on the daily time frame especially after the monday after the monday when the market forms the trend for the rest of the week so on the monday we will see what happens where the price goes and on a, a tuesday the price will try to make some kind of a trend for the rest of the week but this is something that we need to pay attention closely on the daily time frame so this is all for this week see you next time and happy trading that is all from today analysis i hope you enjoyed if you have any question feel free to leave a comment if you like the analysis, click the like button and subscribe. See you next time and a happy trading.